radiotrophic fungi are one of the strangest life forms on this planet. But very strangeness may help humans travel to other planets. The radio part of their name refers to the electromagnetic radiation, and trophic relates to food and eating. So basically, radiotrophic fungi can eat radiation as a food or energy source. How these fungi do this, and how can we actually benefit from their action? The fungus is able to capture gamma rays, which are normally a fast-moving, deeply penetrating and dangerous form of radiation. It forms one of the major hazards for human space travel. And whilst we're on the surface of the Earth, we're protected from most of the gamma rays produced by the Sun and other stellar objects by the magnetic field and the atmosphere of our planet. Now, out in space, uh, those gamma rays, which can be produced in huge quantities by large, distant stars, can prove damaging to most forms of life. Gamma rays themselves are only part of a much broader electromagnetic spectrum, which includes things like visible light and ultraviolet light, also produced by stars like our Sun. Of course, not all this light produced by our Sun reaches the surface of the Earth. Most of the ultraviolet light being filtered out by our atmosphere, so in order to protect our bodies from overexposure to that ultraviolet light that does come through, our skin contains a pigment called melanin. Humans have evolved so that the locations near the equator where more ultraviolet light makes it to the surface of the Earth, the skin has more melanin to protect it from exposure to excessive levels of ultraviolet light. Now, is isn't just this ultraviolet light uh, which is potentially dangerous. Electromagnetic radiation is generally divided into two groups, ionising and non-ionising radiation. Basically, the higher energy ionising radiation, including things like ultraviolet light, x-rays and gamma rays, can be damaging to the DNA. Whereas non-ionising radiation, such as infrared microwaves and radio waves, whilst these have enough energy to heat objects, they generally won't damage DNA. And most plants on Earth make use of the plentiful visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum to convert the energy from the light into a form they can either use or store using chlorophyll. A radiotrophic fungi are apparently able to use their form of melanin in a similar way to make use of the energy from gamma rays to convert or store that energy for later use. I think examples of those fungi being able to survive and even thriving in extremely high radiation areas, including things like inside the Chernobyl reactor and in the highlands of Antarctica. This doesn't mean that coating the hull of the spacecraft in these fungi will protect those inside from gamma radiation. Most of the radiation will actually pass through the fungi. In fact, the water in the fungi is likely to be a better shield against radiation than the melanin inside the fungi. However, what it does mean is that deep in space on outer planets, there's very little visible light from the sun available. Growing normal plants for food is going to be fairly difficult. However, because there's substantial amounts of gamma radiation, even far out in space, it might well be possible to cultivate fungi that have a high melanin content to produce food. So astronauts may be tucking into a diet of fungi on long voyages.